Hey, what's up guys? Sean back with another video, and you know what? I'm gonna do it. I'm going back into the girl world. Thank God for that. But, uh, Amberlynn, Reed, and Becky. Moments that make me glad I'm single. This is by Dainty, which is pretty much my only knowledge of Amberlynn Reed. Although you guys really want me to watch the Mr. Snowflake. They're just such long videos. He did comment on one of my videos, that, like congratulating me on my weight loss. So I think he's probably a really nice guy. It just, the video would be so long if I did his. But I know he goes way more in depth. And if I wanted to know everything about this lovely lady, I would definitely watch his. But uh, yeah, I don't know. There's just something about her. I'm in love with her. I can't get enough. Amberlynn Reed. I am going to turn this woman straight. I'm totally kidding. There is no shot, no chance in hell I would put myself through that, and I wouldn't do that with yours and that guy pushing. So, let's go. What? What are you doing? She dropped are the cheetah. No. Oh, you biatch. Was she actually proposing? <laughs> Beatbox for burritos. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. What you are, I'm what you are. The worst so high. High, high, high. God. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Little, little star. What you are. What you are. Quick, somebody sign them to OVO. Good lord. <laughs> Peace, poor chop. Peace, poor chop. Peace, poor dinner pot. Nine days of what? That one white cow, like, no, there's another one. <laughs> there's like three white cows and a field full of black cows. You know, to this day, I'm 34 years old and we drive by a field of black cows and my mom will say, remember when you were a little kid and you said, oh my God, look at all those bears. Like, yes, I did it. I called a bunch of cows bears when I was like nine. We can get past it, mom. It's been 25 years. I wonder how they feel. Becky and I are those people, every time we see a cow, they're like, oh look, cows. I want to cuddle a cow. Cows are so cute. They are so cute. Also, who when they were a little kid thought that if it was a black cow, it meant it make cho made chocolate milk? I definitely thought that meant chocolate milk. I was wondering where the strawberry came from. Because I didn't see too many pink cows. But I really thought that. They are. This is why we're meant to be. Because we will both cuddle a cow. <laughs> Wait, you cuddle a cow every night? <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say that and then she said it. You oh, no. You cuddle a cow? They've got nope. this I mean, hygiene's an issue with that size. I bet uh, Amber Lynn Reed doesn't smell like the freshest catch in the seafood district. You know what I'm saying? Hi. We are playing our new Cards Against Humanity pack. I love that game. It's so much Ooh, fun. Oh, you excited, babe? Yeah! Woo! This girl right here say. is jealous. <laughs> I've never seen excitement come out of her, and the only excitement I see when I'm watching Amberlynn Reed is whenever she does a mukbang or whatever, because she definitely gets pumped up for those things. I'd be bisexual for Justin Timberlake. Hola, chiquita. It's a joke. And chiquitos. I have a crush on Eric. Yeah, you got that yummy, yum, that yum. That's the worst Bieber song ever. How I hated when he came out with that one. I grew up hating the hell out of Bieber, right? Then he had a little bit of growth in his, like, 20s. And I was like, all right, this guy's not so bad. And now I actually kind of like him because he's made himself a little more human. But that song was a total miss. Bill, she she called you a whale going up there. She called you a whale. No. My whale. No. You're, you're a cute little Nemo. I'm a little Nemo. I'm like the shark that eats. The shark that ate me. Yeah. Why does she always talk about eating somebody? Like this woman, I think she might be a cannibal. You guys make her hungry enough. She might really eat her ass. But didn't she break up with her and get a new one? Because you guys were telling me that in the last video. Like, oh no, there's a new lady now. But she doesn't know who Amber Lynn is. She didn't know any of that. She just magically met her. Right. She had no clue that she could get some of that sweet internet clout. Start? Yeah. Oh, oh my gosh. Thank you. <laughs> you guys also told me that dog died, oh, so baby. poor puppy. Okay, thanks for crawling on my face. 
So how was your food? I think fathers should be allowed maternity leave. <laughs> what the fuck? I said, how was your food? How's your day? <laughs> what are you doing? Is this an interview? My brother made me watch Beavis and Butthead the other day, and it was still kind of funny. I thought I was like, ah, I've grown a little past that. Nope. I'm still immature as hell because it was hilarious. Why do you want to work here? I'm not allowed to say right now. Where were you on the day of today? Chowder. <laughs> do you have treads? Bet that's a Diet Coke. Tell me, can you see anything? How many of you had that pool growing up? Good Lord. Every redneck in Pennsylvania, West Virginia had that damn pool. At least theirs is still kind of clear. Because I've only seen them green in my experience. Nobody puts any chemicals in them things. It's like a walking STD. I can. I, I'd go back down. <laughs> chain, chain, chain. <laughs> That's great. Did you guys see? She actually looks like she's damn near bigger than Amber Lynn here, so she definitely was a bad influence on her. Because I, you guys told me that she was losing weight. I don't know hardly anything that's going on. I just know this chick's out of the picture now. Amber Lynn Reed is roaming free on the Tinderverse, and she's going friggin' wild. By the way, if I had a dating profile, it would 100% say, like, uh... Oh, this is gonna be that. Should I? Uh, no, should I? Uh, I would say washer rescue team. You ladies need to watch out. I was doing all kinds of research the other day. These front load washers are extremely dangerous for you guys. You need to stay away. <laughs> Wait a minute. Hold on. I've seen that done before. I think sumo wrestlers do that when they're getting ready to fight. They lean in, they grab each other, you know? They're really getting ready to throw down. Let's see this. Why are they social distancing? I don't know. That's something I want to ask you. What? What are you doing? Would you are go to PF Chang's with me? No. <laughs> We're going to act as a bitch. I love you. I love you too. That was funny. What? It's just hard doing prank videos. What a boob cam. These two are like, wow, that's a crazy moment to freeze it. But they're like so boring to me. I don't know why you guys love them so much. I think you guys just love to hate her, which I'm coming around to because it's so stupid. I think if I watched like the actual, not just the compilations, but the actual videos of her, I would understand your guys' detestment for her. But me, I'm just infatuated. I love her. What can I say? <laughs> Kidding. She drives me nuts. <laughs> I like the Space Jam shirt she had on. I wanted to ask you a question. Okay. I'm gonna put chapstick on first. Oh, this much <laughs> like, what the hell? These two are just like a walking train wreck. It's ridiculous, but she's having the time of her life. I like to joke around and stuff, but apparently they broke up, so I guess it wasn't all like sun sh sunshine and daisies or whatever, but apparently there was some uh, trouble in paradise here. That hurt. A little bit. A little bit. Oh, baby. I love you. I love you. I'm so tired of looking at this. All you gotta yeah. do is angle it, right? <laughs> I was pretty blessed I didn't really have the bad double chin. That's my angle right there. But I did find my neck. I lost this thing for about a little over a decade. It finally came back. Almost lose 300 pounds. I have a freaking neck. Would you guys look at this shit? Now I just need to work on this beard. Because there's a little twirl here where I twirled it where it was growing in. It looks freaking ridiculous. Yeah, Sorry, that was random. <laughs> Y'all, we found Annabelle. Yeah, that's kind of creepy. Look I don't do horror her. movies either. No, Jesus Christ, that thing is creepy. What? Thumbnail, though. 
You know what doll I think is creepy? Sorry, I know I'm pausing a lot. They had that ALF doll. That, like, demon, like, alien thing or whatever that came down and ate people's cats. My brother had one. I swear to God it used to stare me down from the closet. It scared the hell out of me. How is that a kid's, like, cartoon or whatever? Not cartoon. Kid's show. This girl in my class is wearing way too much makeup. I might wear a lot, but it looks good. This girl is wearing colors of a clown. Why do you give a shit? Oh. Whoa! Oh my god, yeah! Uh -huh. So, the person's- I actually like it more when girls wear like no makeup, because y'all be catfishing the hell out of us with your makeup sometimes. And I understand that it's like the women's beauty standards are kind of crazy. So I get why you guys wear the makeup, but that shit's expensive too. I look around one damn time, I buy some eyelash like serum stuff, and it's like 80, 80 bucks or something, and that was the cheap one. I was like, holy shit. This light is making me look really Yeah, I look like different. a big cherry. <laughs> <laughs> big? Big? Yeah. Are you tiny. calling me big? No, I was talking about me. There's my baby. <sighs> Looking good. I love when she wears those pants. I also really like those ones on you that make you look like Kurt Cobain. Oh. I accidentally bought some skinny jeans the other day too. Those look crazy on my big ass. I ain't buying them again. Literally, Becky did not. <laughs> Becky! You literally closed the door in my face. I'm, so <laughs> I'm leaving that in the vlog. Huh? What do you have to say about that, Rebecca? Oh, uh, you like it? Yeah, I like it. I think this is one of my most favorite meals that you've made. Really? Yep. Yeah. Well, we're having it again for dinner. Great. <laughs> Good lord. And sunscreen because I'm extra white. Yeah. I, I thought these two didn't go around like Walmart. Like, they didn't walk. I thought they only did it with the carts. Because I saw, I swear I saw a video of them just like playing bumper cars in Walmart. With some carts or something. So I don't think these two walk around the store usually. They usually go at like 3 a.m. and ride carts from what I've found. Two kinds of Indian in me and some Spanish, but you can't tell because my European side picks Oh, wow, up. babe. Look at you. It's the Irish and the English and the Dutch. Yeah, exactly, because I'm Portuguese, but for my dad's side, I have a little bit of Irish in me, so I look like a complete white chick. Yeah. <laughs> okay, here you go. I've been told I'm Irish and German, but I actually have no freaking clue. I, I need to do, like, one of those DNA tests and figure out what I actually am. So, we'll see maybe one day. Oh, you're going to let me out in front? That's girlfriend goals. Girlfriend goals. I'll see you in there. Yeah, bye, I love For you. letting you out at the front door. Uh -huh. It's hot all of a sudden. Must be Amber Lynn doing it to me. Why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> Outfit of the day. Are you walking? Yeah. I'm grabbing your boob. I don't need to see this. Jesus Christ, get a friggin' room. The last time Becky and I, um, you know, was February 2018. Are you Do thinking you... about making out? Yeah. Is she really telling <laughs> us? Oh, it's so cute. Look at you. Miley Cyrus so in full, the background. With a full face, it looks better. Yes. I'm... I feel like they look better when they're open, like wearing them like as a cardigan type style. Like, what in the hell is going on here? These two have the weirdest dynamic as a couple. I mean, in a way, it's kind of funny the way they joke around, but at the same time, Amber Lynn is just the, probably the most annoying person I've ever seen. There you go. What do you think? She makes me look normal. Do you like it? Yeah, it's cute. What would you wear it with? I don't know. Why did you switch your hat? What even is it? I want everybody to see my Waluigi hat. Oh, that hat's kind of dope. <laughs> Thought it was what? Destiny? You wish I was Becky, huh? Yeah. That was pretty good. She just sits there and cackles. Like, this woman is unhinged. Something's going on in the Amberlynn Reed universe. And I think you guys said she's single now, right? No, did she got the new girl? But I don't know, man. I can't keep up with this woman's love life. She's knocking y'all ladies down. Why are you the cutest in the cutest of the world? No, that's you. Don't lie. No, that's you. That's you. 
That's you. You. This is a horrible angle of me. <laughs> My hair. I love you, babe. I love you too. Is she wearing? Is she going for a gothic look right now? I don't think she's very happy. The joke can't be on her. The difference is I can make the jokes. People can talk shit about me. I think it's all good. It's all fair play. But I don't think she likes it when it's turned on her. Me, I could care less. I think it's all fun. Everybody should joke around a little more. Don't take life too seriously. You'll never get out alive. Don't write on me. Wait, what did you just say? I said this is what I've been working on for my runway look. Wow, your runway look is amazing, baby. What's the name? Ooh. Garbage bitch. What <laughs> Who even does garbage bitch? <sighs> Who does that? That's like something a five-year-old does. Like, your kid has all kinds of fun with the packaging and the bubble. I don't know. Do you guys still pop the bubble wrap? I might still pop it once in a while, but... I ain't never made myself a mask out of my prime package or whatever envelope. That's crazy. What's your drag queen oh, name? What's your drag queen name? Norka Lepsy. You look aesthetically <laughs> pleasing. Drag queen name. Amazonius. Amazon packages. Mm. I don't know. It's okay. My white shades and my white shirt. <laughs> oh, Blake 182 <laughs> shirt. <laughs> Oh my! <laughs> I'm leaving that in. Wait, did you fart? Aww. No. I, I wish I could see all of them. That was you. <laughs> no, I swear to God. Look what the that. hell? Oh my gosh, I kind of want to get one for Twinkie. You guys told me she killed that dog. That poor dog didn't get any attention, and it just kind of passed away recently. You said she left it in a hot car. I don't know. She's hell on dogs. She don't need a damn dog. But she's at such a weird size that medium is way too big for her. And small can fit, but sometimes it's a little tight. So here's a small. Becky, do, do you, you guys dress up your tricky? dogs? I don't. Really? I'm a man though. You can get it, but it won't fit you ever notice in a relationship when the one person's checked out, you can just see it in their eyes that they're just dead inside? Like, she has no interest in this conversation at all. She is just, like, staring straight through her. She's like, let's just get this shit over with. You can always tell when one person's checked out of the relationship, and it looks like she has. But I guess Amber Lynn did? Didn't she break up with her? I don't know, man. You guys have to tell me. So I really hope you guys enjoy it, and you guys can get to see us kind of as a couple... Obviously, things are a little bit different, like, off camera. <laughs> I love you guys. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Wait. Good lord. I didn't click off yet. No. Okay. No, Why didn't we have, like, a thousand pound girlfriends instead of thousand pound sisters? These two could have done that and been on TLC doing all their glory and all that, or in all of their glory, I mean. But they definitely would have made a hell of a TV show together. We don't need Amy and Tammy Slayton anymore. We could have had them. But yeah, I guess these are moments that make me glad I'm single. To me, they are just obnoxious. I don't really think Amberlynn Reed is that entertaining in my opinion. She's more, like, annoying the fact that she's always dieting and saying she's trying and never making any effort. But a lot of people are there. I just don't know. When you get up to pushing 600 like she is, and I was up above that, you just got to get it together, man. You're not going to have that much longer of a life if you don't. And that's just the sad reality of it. And I noticed Cheesecake Factory in the background. I think she's obsessed with that place, too. I haven't been there in forever. That would be good. Maybe I'm going to go to Cheesecake Factory today. Alright guys, like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you later. Peace.